Alright, so you guys are probably asking, steve -O bought another tractor. Yes, yes I did. I couldn't help myself. I found a 1206 Turbo front wheel sis. I mean, these are rare. At least, I haven't found many of them around here. This thing is a gem. Want to get it into the field right away. We are still in corn harvest. So if you don't know, we had a little bit of trouble with some another contractor that apparently we stole his contract even though we didn't even know he had it. But he destroyed our 83. He Well, he destroyed the engine in it, which it's in the shop right now. The rear end transmission. Yeah, it's pretty penny. Luckily, the insurance company is going to cover that. Not lucky for my cousin that now has to ride on the 4440 open station right in pulling the old Kinsey. Yeah, talk about old school. That is definitely, I don't know why the PTO shaft is hooked up like that. A little bit odd. Yep, a little bit odd. Uh, we do have the trucks and everything parked in here. We are taking a break from harvesting because I need to get some hay made for winter time and it's the perfect time I got a few days before it rains I need to get the hay down today uh, and I needed to pick up my tractor of course so this L3 is carrying the load because our uh, 2388 yeah it's down too it has some engine problems called water in the engine. It's in the shop. I don't think I'm going to get it back for this harvest, but it is what it is. At least the insurance company is covering it. Now this thing is a beaut. I don't know what I'm going to hook it to. I... I I used to have a ton of tractors, but the 4440 is put on the grain car. Don't really want to unhook it. It has a, a PTO shaft through the seat. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to uh, go get my 4620 off the auger and uh, bring it over here and hook it up to the MoCo, I guess. So I borrowed my neighbor's Rhino rake. This thing is giant. I'm a little bit worried it's going to make the wind rows a little bit too big. But we're in a hurry. We need to get this done as quickly as possible. Because I need to get back to harvest. If we go over here, you can see my uh, bale storage is getting a little low. And uh, the grass is higher than the bales. This is all big problems. We we can't have these type of problems here. We need to get our grass bailed up so we can feed our, uh, our hungry, hungry cattle. They go through a lot of feed, even though they have a pasture. All right, bring in the deer back from, what the heck? Oh. That's odd. Man, I always thought this area right here is a little weird. But that is definitely a little weird. It's creepy how that's floating in the sky. I'm pretty sure that's a stop sign. And it's still sitting there. Better wear a hard hat when I go under there. You never know when that'll fall down. Alright, so I'm bringing the John Deere back from the auger. It got retired for just a short bit off the auger to go on the mower. So our, our new 1206 doesn't have a three-point uh, hitch on it. So it can't really hook it to the mower. So it got hooked up to the rake, which is fine. It'll live. And John Deere gets to go with John Deere here. Wow, you talk about a tight area right here. Whew. Ooh, that is tight. Oh, just barely. 
just barely made it. I almost had to move that uh, auger wagon there. Alright, I need to get in the field, get this cut down. I need to watch out for that stop sign up there. Make sure it's not going to booby trap me. Look at this high stuff. Before anybody gets on my case, I understand I should have probably took the duels off. I just don't really have the time right now to take the duels off, the 4620. Uh, I need to get back into the field, get harvesting. You know, beans, they could be dropping on the ground anytime, so it, it's important. Get harvest, but I can't. I think it's more important to the time saved of not taking them off. It takes a few hours. I can get this mode in a few hours, so then I can get back to harvesting. So, it is what it is. Sometimes you just have to do weigh the pros and cons. I don't know what it is, but I've always liked mowing. To be honest, I've never liked swing out mowers. And you know, at the end of the day, your neck is just cramped, it hurts. I've always liked running self-propelled, but you know, sometimes self propels just ain't in the budget so you have to run the old uh, swing outs like this pull types all right so I gave the mower to my cousin a little bit here I have a very important meeting like a really big shot meeting uh, he's supposed to be here at any time oh. Hey, I'm pretty sure that's him. Let me just tell you, he is uh, not a blue collar person. This is uh, a big shot businessman that for whatever reason is extreme backing up slow. Man, these uh, people that go work in the office sometimes, you just not used to this old country life let's just say that finally seemed like it took forever wow all right so we're gonna do a quick little business uh, I actually don't think it's gonna be quick all right well that sure is sad man that is quite the offer Whew. yep you know when they pull in with a four-door Porsche into your little itty bitty farm? Some there's gonna be a big offer. Yeah, that that's gonna be hard to swallow. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's so sad. But you know what? I'm busy right now. I'm not even gonna think about it. You know, I'm just gonna you know get in the tractor, start farming. This is the type of stuff that's important. Oh, man. So, I was going to get into my international. Man, just got this thing. I already got a flat tire. Uh, must have picked up a nail or something. I'm going to have to get that fixed before I start raking. going to try to uh, blast it up. up. I'm going to try to just plug this tire. air in it. There we go. The air took. And don't think I hear a hissing anymore. I think we might be good. I think we might be able to finally start raking. Spread this huge break out. Look at this thing spread open. Yeah. That thing is big. Real big. Alright, so I'm trying to let my cousin uh, catch up a little bit. Let's just say I'm like, uh, 
four times wider over there, uh, I could do one pass and I can almost be caught up to her. She, uh, she can go pretty quick, but she's only like, what is that, a five foot, six foot mower? Let's fly the drone up a little bit and watch her, I guess. Think about me because I'm starting to doubt We will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world Alright, I think she is caught up enough. I am way offline here Try to get caught back up here. This thing is so wide it's hard to judge where the end is And it's not like I can use auto steer on this old international so uh it's all freehand it's a little bit hard to go back to the old-fashioned way the old 10 and 2 10 fingers and two eyes that's how you steer man these are going to be humongous wind rows we might have to end up flipping them basically turn them over so the sun gets beats down on them I am going to bale this stuff a little bit wet. I'm just going to let it dry out. We're going to treat it, feed it to the cattle. Just don't have the time to wait for it to be uh, bone dry. Man, is that international. Sure is purdy. It's almost like it, we shouldn't be using it in the field purdy. It should be in some museum. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up to my cousin or not. She just about has behind the shop mow down. I guess she does have a few more rounds over there. Holy cow. Look at them giant, fluffy windrows. Things are huge. I know. That's what she said. Alright. I'm gonna try to clean this up right here. At least a little bit. There we go. Pick that up. Move it on around. Looks like I got a little bit over there. Oh well. Stuff happened. Man. Sure is gonna be many times around with the baler, that's for sure. Wow. Almost hit my cousin right there. Real close. And oh man. When somebody offers you a lot of money for your farm, it, it just you just start reminiscing about all the memories all the special times we had on this farm I mean man this farm is almost the perfect setup if I had any land I wanted and I could build my farm in real life the way I wanted I would uh, model it close to this farm it's no joke I really do it's almost a perfect setup. Alright, let's try to get this clean without being too messy here. Gotta make sure the neighbors are impressed when they drive down the road. Yep, and now it looks like we are gonna have to wait. I think I'm gonna get the old uh, windrow flipper. Start flipping these. I know usually you wait a little bit once it gets sunshine, but I want to flip these uh, windrows a little. Got the old fluffer hooked up. I know. I know. Ooh, wow. Watch out for them branches. I know it's not called a fluffer, but that's what it does. 
basically cheds the one row. So Ted the win row, fluffs the win row, whatever you want to call it, still the same. All right, let's get this uh, fluffer started. I mean tether. This should work nicely for these giant win rows. Oh man, this is hard. This thing, it's old. Uh, Super M just can't get over these windrows, getting stuck on top of them. That is not good. Not good whatsoever. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Come on, Super M. You can do it. This. You might have to uh, unhitch the John Deere and put it on the old fluffer here. Well, we're going to have to wait until the old John Deere, the high boy here, is done. Alright, back to wrecking. Luffing was a fail. Oh well. I, I didn't pay much for that old fluffer, tether, whatever you want to call it. I think if I might put that on the high boy here. The, that's on the moco right now it might actually work for us but I don't know I would like to turn these wind rows around because wow are they tall they definitely got some height to them looks like we can shut this down for a little while while we wait for my cousin to get ahead wow just four rounds is all I took pretty sure my cousin did like 20 rounds but thank you all for watching and I will see you later over here in beautiful Missouri thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe not sure what my cousin is thinking here Huh. Why wouldn't she just flip it back and forth? She probably doesn't even know that thing goes back and forth. If you don't know, you can save a ton by using the code SQUAD at Apex Gaming PCs. I can't wait for an advanced water cool tower so I don't have to get old toasty and sweaty while I'm taping for you guys. Just can't wait.